Hi everyone, uh, this is Edward again uh, from Hong Kong Excel. So I've been teaching 400 students, uh, over 400 students uh, worldwide, uh, including Hong Kong. So uh, basically what I want to share with you today, the topic is a binomial expansion, okay? So in MathSL, so how would the question type look like, right? In IB, IB exam. So basically all you need to know about binomial expansion is A plus B, let's say power of four. So how do you expand this? So it's all about one equation, okay? So all you need to know is this. So n r a n minus r b r. Okay. So this equation is on the data booklet. And what does it mean by n r a n minus r b r here? Okay. So very very easy. Let's say if I give you x to the power of four, power of uh, five, right? Okay. So how do you expand all this, right? So Previously, we have learned x plus 4 power of 2. We can memorize the expansion because it's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right? It's x squared plus 2 times x times 4. That will be uh, 8x plus uh, 4 squared is just 16, right? Okay, but the problem is if that comes to like a larger power. So let's say uh, x plus uh, 4 power of 3, okay? So let's look at this case first. Then how do you expand the whole thing? So basically, just need to use this equation. So n stands for the power, the power of the thing. Okay, for this one, right? And then R, I'll explain it to you later. And for A is the first term, B is the second term, okay? And that's it. Okay, so I wanna expand all this. Then you just need to follow this equation. So power is three, yeah? So R is always start from zero. Okay, just a number, start from zero, okay? So let's say three and then zero, right? And then you wanna expand this, then that will be X and then power of uh, three minus zero because N minus R. So I'll just write three. And then this one's four, right? And power zero. So always followed by this number, yeah? Okay, so R is the same here. Okay, plus, then you will see the pattern. Because three, one, and then X, three minus two is, uh, three minus one is two, and then four to the power of one, and then plus three, two, X, uh, one, and then four power two, plus the last one, three, three, uh, X, 3 minus 3 is 0, and then 4 to the power of 3. So it's very simple. The pattern is very clear. So just basically, the power is all the same, right? It's all 3, and then the R starting from 0, and 0, 1, 2, 3, right? And then for the X here, then you just write X to the power of 3, and then 0, right? And the second one, you can see 3 minus 1, then you will have 2, and this one, it will be 1, right? And then 3 minus 2, then it will be just 1, and this one must be 2, right? This one matches this one. And finally, 3, 3. Okay, so this is how you expand the whole thing, yeah? So the next time I give you x plus 2 power of uh, uh, 3, yeah? Okay, so how do you expand this one? Same thing, so 3, 0, right? And then x, 3 minus 0, 3, and then 4 power of 0 plus 3, 1, x power of 2, and then 4 power of 1 plus 3, 2, x power of uh, 1 and then four, uh, 4 to the power of 2 plus 3 3 x to the power of 0 and then 4 to the power of 3 and that's it okay but obviously in the exam you have to simplify all this okay but um, that will uh, you, you will need to learn the Pascal triangle okay so uh, Pascal triangle I'll leave it in my uh, free trial lesson so you can just go to the link below and then you click uh, and register a free trial lesson okay so and that will include all the uh, concept and also exam questions okay and the second type uh, this is just simple expansion so but many many questions will ask you to find the, the terms okay so let's say this time I consider x per, uh, plus 4 power of 5. If the question asks you to find the fourth term of the expansion. So obviously you don't want to expand all the things, right? Okay, I just want to find the fourth term of the expansion. So how do you do that? So there's one trick for you. So I always set r start from 0, right? Okay, so if let's say this one is 5, 0 and then 5, 1 and then so on to 5, 5, right? Okay, so if r is equal to 0, r is equal to 0, so then you have the first term, right? First term, okay. So if r, r is 1, then you have the second term. So if r is 2, then you have the third term, right? So, and finally, if r is 3, then you will have the fourth term. Yeah, so after, you, why is this so important to know about the value of r? Because if I know r is 3, then you can find out all the expansion. Why? Because I just need to apply the nr, nr, a, n minus r, b, r, right? So n is power of 5, and then r right now I know that uh, for fourth term is 3, yeah? And then for a is just x, 5 minus 3 is 2, and then 4 to the power of 3, 
yeah okay then obviously then you can just go to GDC to calculate this value okay so uh, in the trial lesson I'll also teach you how to calculate this value okay without using calculator and also with your calculator okay so no matter you're using T1 Inspire um, Texas or Casio okay I'll reveal all the GDC skills for you okay so um, if you find a video uh, is useful then you can just go to uh, register um, the uh, free trial lesson and um, the the video will be 1.5 hour long okay so include all the concepts and also exam questions so i'll see you next time